Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm gonna to tell you about this lovely 2017 Infinity QX30 Premium that we have for sale. Uh, we re recently took this one in on trade. Some of our nicest premium vehicles come in on trade. This one's no exception. Uh, clean Carfax, local vehicle, serviced and checked by our Infinity Certified Techs. Very nicely equipped with features. We have a copy of the uh, build sheet on this one. And it's always good to look at the fine print because the base MSRP is 37,700. But when you add in all the equipment, it goes up to $43,480. And this is, that's just the base MSRP for a premium, but a base MSRP for uh, QX3 in general is 30,000. So there can be a, a big difference in equipment. So it's always good to look at the fine print. And if you have any questions about the options, uh, give us a call, we'll pull a build sheet for you. And even if you're not buying a car for us, we'll help you make an intelligent decision wherever you might be buying an Infinity. So some of the features on this one is the Cafe Teak theme package. It is $1,750, giving you this beautiful brown Nepal leather interior. You have brown uh, dash inserts, brown leatherette on the console, and door trim, brown leatherette, uh, oh sorry, genuine wood center stock. Uh, so the center console has wood uh, trim on the on the radio part of it. Uh, black di black di dynamica headliner a pillar i don't know how to pronounce it correctly but basically it's a suede cloth material on the headliner which gives it a nicer premium feel um, and then we have satin silver mirror caps the navigation package was 1850 dollars so we can print out a copy uh, or our email to you if you want to peruse that yourself the qx30 was our uh, smallest crossover suv or smallest vehicle in general in the infinity lineup unfortunately 2019 was the last year it was co-developed with Mercedes. I think they had some sort of falling out, so that's why it was discontinued. 17 was the first year, 19 was the last year. Uh, features, cool features, uh, like a dual clutch, seven speed automatic transmission. Dual clutch automatic transmission is a little bit more efficient than regular automatics with a torque converter. Instead of a torque converter, it employs two automated clutches, one for the even gears, one for the odd gears, so it can pre-select that next gear for very smooth and uh, seamless gear changes. This one has that brown leather. It's also a Napa leather, very high quality wood trim on the doors and the uh, nap leather and uh, contrast stitching is on the doors the dashboard really nice premium feel big glass roof panel and you have a sunshade to dim things down if it gets too bright dual on auto climate control heated seats navigation package rear parking camera this one has 38,093 miles also has a great sounding bose audio system The QX30 was made in uh, basically two basic flavors. They have a front wheel drive and the all wheel drive. The all wheel drive is a little bit more common in our part of the area because people like all wheel drive in the Pacific Northwest. The all wheel drive like this one has more crossover SUV design influences where the front wheel drive one kind of has more car like influences. So the front wheel drive kind of looks like a hatchback car uh, where the uh, all wheel drive one like this one kind of looks more like a crossover SUV. Uh, it has an intelligent all-wheel drive system, so when all-wheel drive is not needed, it's 100% front-wheel drive to save on gas. But it can send power to the rear wheels as needed. Beautiful curvaceous body. Uh, some of the most dramatic body contours that you'll find on a production automobile. Makes it a little bit more expensive in the uh, assembly process and the construction process, but uh, this is a luxury car and Infiniti wanted it to look good. And it certainly does with all those beautiful creases and curves. One gorgeous automobile. For the heart of the QX30, you'll find a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. This is kind of like the workhorse engine for Mercedes. Uh, like I said, this is co-developed with Mercedes. Uh, this engine makes 208 horsepower and about 250 pounds of torque. All the power you'd really need in a vehicle like this. And that was the only engine available in the QX30. Thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully we see you soon and have a wonderful day.